Dear Memorial Hospital staff, it is with deep heartfelt thanks that we write this letter on behalf of our mom, Mary Logan. From the moment I walked into Memorial, everyone made it their job to be sure that she was comfortable and knew that she was loved and being cared for. And the best of humanity came together and stood out in the worst of times. The impact has been so much greater than I even thought it would be. I, I knew the team would be excited and stop and think about, oh my gosh, all this effort that we've put in really has made a difference. Right here in little rural Hancock County, a five-star hospital that they can receive great care. We had been working on leadership development, independent. Got to the point where, oh, we started getting, and then we got to the four stars, and then you just, and we were stuck. And we said, hmm, we don't want to be stuck. We want to get to the next level. You know, how do we get to the next level? Ada has truly been a rock star, consistently um, singing it's the right thing to do. So many organizations struggle with who's going to do what. You know, they want the five-star status, but they're not willing to each take their own responsibility to believe it, behave accordingly, and hold their team to be accountable. I would round and people in frontline would say, well, you know, this hasn't been fixed for you know, six months, this isn't done or that isn't done. Now I round and it's just having a conversation with the team. We have been about a year into our journey and I was rounding and one of the nurses on inpatient brought something to my attention. And before I could even respond, she looked at me and she said, oh, this would probably be a really good do it project, don't you think? Even though we thought the team was empowered, didn't realize how many little things in the organization that the team really wanted to tend to that wasn't getting tended to or talked about. Our world has become far more transparent and in healthcare that means that they could be Googled. The CMS has the Hospital Compare website, so you can't hide behind your past success. If you're a three star or four star or if you're a five star, you've got to sustain that because it's a competitive market and you've got to commit to not rely on your past laurels but to continually keep yourself fresh and focused. Custom Learning has so many educational programs and offerings that you really stop and don't uh, just cookie cutter things. It's a matter of what does our organization look like right now. When we said where you're going to have service excellent advisors and they're going to be the best of the best of your frontline team and they're going to do the training and they're going to carry the message and they're going to be the role models. I mean, typically, you know, you think about education top down and instead I get to sit and be a student of, for example, you know, my custodian and what that's done. I was, I was a dancer growing up and I was always able to get up and perform in front of people in that sense that I was never, ever able to get up and speak in front of five. But after this, I have felt so much empowerment and such um, an ability to be able to change things and to have a voice in just the friendships that we have developed with our, you know, the, the advisors and the ambassadors. And, you, you know, you walk down a hallway at the hospital now and it's just, it, it'll never be the same. You know, you look around and you recognize things and you see the focus values being implemented every day. And it's just an incredible feeling. Those do it meetings made us feel like we could suggest things and no, no ideas, you know, were too small. We had ideas that no one really even thought of. And then we, you know, of course we'd get excited and talk to other departments and we'd get, we'd hear what they were doing and what they were achieving. And it kind of snowballed and made everyone you know, get different ideas for our individual departments as well. What would we have done without our huddles when we hit COVID? You know, now we had a structure and a way in place where the team's touching base. Some, you know, every day, some once a week, but how that has really helped that structure has 
given us a, an avenue for continued um, better communication. You know, it's, it's a priority. Why wouldn't we want to provide the best quality care? Why wouldn't we always want to be doing the best by our patients? If we were really saying that, then why wouldn't we put the energy into the tools? And sometimes when they always say, oh, but we're doing this. And I've said, we are not deviating from the road map because He's done this over and over again. We may not understand all of it at the moment, but we're just going to trust the fact that this has been fine-tuned with a lot of organizations. Our motto is, it's the right thing to do. And so when we're doing whatever we're doing, if it's ordering supplies for the nurses or cleaning the toilets or whatever the case may be, our goal isn't to get that five star achievement where it that's not that's not the focus our focus is we're doing whatever we're doing for the patient because it's the right thing to do we have from the very beginning said we're not asking you to do anything in addition to your your normal duties we should be doing this anyway this is something that you should have been doing all along i think uh, every board should consider it you know where is your money best spent and I tell you, investing in the people and creating better leadership throughout the team, a CEO alone can't make it all work. If you are committed to change and culture and building a better team, it is worth the investment. It is well worth it because, as I said, it's just an organized way of here's the game plan of how you get to be a five-star hospital. It's an investment in your team. It's an investment in your community. I was sad to learn that we were only one of like 8% of the hospitals in the country. Our country deserves all of us to be five star. We shouldn't have any two star. I shouldn't be excited about the hospital next door being two star because when I'm traveling in that community, I could end up in that emergency department. So I feel that the onus is on us from a leadership perspective to make sure that we have a culture of unity, caring, compassion, excellence, and that we take care of our team that way every day. And we also take care of our patients and our residents, but there isn't anything wrong with partnering with a company with a proven track record in order to get you there.